Welcome to Toy Hall Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. Decided to do something very different today. A number of years ago, I decided to make up some letters. I call them Kendall letters. And they're just sort of based on some things you see in typography, but they're really just very amorphous, fun letters. I only have four of them though, and my favorite one is the B. So I thought, heck, why not? I think I'll do a few more of those. They are in a collection on my website. And this A here, is sort of what I wanted to do, but I realized as I put it up today that it looks like an A inside of an A, and I don't want that, so I'm probably going to change it. And I had all kinds of ideas on how to approach this, and I don't know. Um, I might do the warm, cool thing. Uh, probably going to have to go back into it a lot with some lines to get the lines back. And I thought I'd do some bleeding and not some bleeding, and oh, I just want to really, really experiment today, just in the mood for that. Just see what happens as I go along. I want to make it real complicated. That I really want to do. And if I have to go off camera, because I don't like these to be more than 20 minutes, I will do that. But I really want to get in to some complexity with this one. And as you can see, that's not going to go away right now. I'll have to go back into it again. But don't want it to just be a few color fields, planes. I want it to be lots of different colors and textures. And let lots of different things happen. And because the lines right now are so dark and I'm using the paint kind of thin, I'm not going to have any trouble with keeping that there, but I don't want that A inside of the A. That's not what I had intended. As I said, I didn't really realize that until I put it up this morning. Yeah, I had a feeling I wasn't going to really just stick to the warm, cool thing, because I really want to get lots of interaction between the colors. So, let me just see what happens pandemic is something else. And um, it's very discouraging. I've been reading about the mass thing and there's one guy that gave the most detailed account of how you really doesn't really help. And I was real pleased to find another article that explained very carefully how yeah it does help. So if it doesn't help and I'm wearing one, it's not gonna kill me. But I'm going to bank on the article that said, yes, it does help. It does prevent a lot of moisture coming out of your mouth that may have germs into someone's airspace. So I'm real surprised there are people that are just going to insist, oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And of course, there are very important people in this country that won't wear them, and I just think that's terrible, but, you know, it's the way it is. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. I want to do always so into blue-green. This sort of thing is really fun because even though it's going to be a letter A, I am um, really just looking at it as fields of color and I don't have to worry about any perspective, which is always a real pill. Oh yeah, really like getting all that yellow in there. And I can get rid of that line later. I'm just going to have fun with this. Get some nice different greens into it. I'm working very hard on a piece of otter painting that has taken quite a long time because it's at the lodge and there's just so much work to be done and I don't do all that getting all that detail in because I'm showing off <laughs> or I think you got to have all that detail but when I try to get all that, the way I paint, the colors and the textures get more and more complex. And that's what I like. And it really is getting very complicated. Don't like that. I want it to be, interact with that color. Oh well, need some white. But uh, it's getting really super complicated. And unlike a lot of my other paintings where it's like, oh man, this is going on so long that I just want to finish it, that's, that's not happening. I am just every day thinking, wow, 
this painting is coming along and I'm not having any of that arm wrestling which happens lots of times where it's like oh no, oh no it's going this way it's going that way if you don't paint that it may sound really strange but it is quite a process and if you get involved in it you'll you'd understand that there's just so many things that happen so many decisions that the artist makes that are not necessarily based on what they're seeing sometimes it is it depends on the artist that make it very 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 complicated process it's even I think even photorealists would agree that it's never just a matter of really trying to reproduce something because if you look at some of the really good photorealists like Richard Estes, Thomas Estes I always get nervous when I do these things and I sometimes make mistakes that I wouldn't normally make but I think it's Richard Estes um, if you really look at what he did and you understand the patterns that he did you'd, you'd realize that oh, no it's not just a matter of reproducing a photograph it is a very very complex system that he got going in terms of the spacing um, lots of attention to reflections glass reflections and it's just I'm sure he would agree that it's not just reproducing something not that that is easy it's very difficult and I think I've said before that I don't think anybody can really do that that uh, the light is always changing and you, you just can't really capture anything exactly and I've said before if you haven't heard this I don't know who's I'm sure it's different people each time so I do repeat myself as I said before the way to convince yourself of this is that photographs can't get it either <laughs> A lot of people think, oh yeah, I'll take a photograph. That's exactly accurate. No, it's not. Okay, here's the way to convince yourself. Take a picture of the sun, and then look at that picture. You'll be able to look at that picture. Now, see if you can look at the sun. You'll burn your eye out. It's not, It's just a shadow. A really good shadow, but it's still just a shadow. Boy, I like that. So yeah, I'm going to go to some real warm colors next. The time is kind of going along here, so I don't want to end up with a lot of paper showing. So I'm going to move along a little faster. And maybe not have it so complex in this layer and, and do more later. I think I've already gone 10 minutes and I haven't even covered it. So I better get moving. I really like that real deep red around it. So I'm not going to water it down much. I'm just going to really let that set that area out. As I've said before, I'm really into red green contrast. And that tends to happen a lot especially in these kind of fantasy paintings that I do. Yeah, I really do like that. So I'm doing more of that. I like switching media. I remember a long time ago, I was talking to an artist that only works in watercolors, which is a very hard medium. I would absolutely agree, in, depending on how you approach it. And she was real surprised that I work in water media, oil paint, pastels. I've won awards in both oil paints and pastels, national awards. And she was wondering, how do you do that? Well, I don't know. I just do. To me, it's fascinating to switch because you got to get back into all the different, the uh, different techniques in each medium, and it just really keeps you fresh. Really, it keeps you on your toes. I have a feeling I'm going to have a hard time getting this. Maybe it's going to be a very long one. And I definitely am going to have to go back into it because I'm going to lose a lot of what's going on here. So right now it's not anywhere near as complicated as I want it to be. But I'm getting some interesting things, and I think I will do that. Switching back and forth, sort of switching back from warm and cool. So I'm going to go back into some cool areas now around this area and see how that looks it's going to have green but you know actually depends on which green you're using whether it's warm or cool and of course blue green is really a cool color just kind of feel like I'm fighting with the time today I uh, didn't want to do that. 
But yeah, I did pick something with a lot of different spaces, so that is something you can't just do in a couple of minutes. But I didn't want to go on for a really long time. So I'm going to fill it in a little more. And then maybe get into some real complicated brushwork later. Real worried about this virus all the time. Uh, I shouldn't be talking about such something so sad, but it really is. And I'm just staying in. I don't think it's safe to go out. The um, actress that bought several of my paintings, Morgan Fairchild, she told me that she studied disease. It was just kind of kind of like a hobby for her, and she studied it for for 50 years. And she said when they were starting to open up, she said it's going to get worse. And she was right. I was real surprised that things opened up so quickly. She said she's not going out hardly at all. Neither am I. My family's just staying in, getting groceries, but basically just staying in, hoping for the vaccine to be developed, because then I think we can start getting back out, getting the country back together. I think I'm trying to think of something else to talk about. So it is so sad. I haven't lost anyone, but I know people have. Okay. Yeah, now, now it's getting more, a little more complicated, getting a little more interesting to me. I'm probably just going to kind of have it more of a color field thing and then do a lot of it off camera. So now that I've got that, I'm going the uh, cool color there, I'm going to put in a warm color here. I do want to get rid of that inner A thing. I just want it to be 1A. So I'll definitely do that. Didn't let it bleed a lot, which I thought I was going to do. I'm kind of using it fa fairly thick. But I just want to get moving along here. Lots to do. Always so much to do. Sure. It, for an artist, it's really not a matter of uh, whether we can go out or not because um, we do so much indoors. And I am promoting it online and selling it online. So kind of hooked up to a computer all the time, doing social media and all. Oh, we've messed up there. Well, we'll just see. I'm not going to do a whole lot more because it's just taking too much time. And I could just really get into some real itty, some real complicated little textural areas off camera, and I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I kind of like the effect. It's um, not as complicated as the ones I have. I will include links to that collection. My favorite one is the bee. I really like what I did with the bee. And this is just not nearly as complicated as any of those. So I'm probably going to be spending some time going back into it. See if I can't make it a little more interesting to my way of thinking. I do like the way the um, colors, warm colors advance and cool colors recede. And it's funny, but I think the cool colors are kind of receding. So I've said before, um, artists can turn that around. I wasn't really intending to, but I think that this time the cool colors are coming forward and the warm colors are receding. Don't know how they'll be at the end, but find out. Yeah, I definitely want to do more with this. And I think it's already been like 20 minutes. So I might just stop right there and try to make it more complicated. And I do want to get rid of that inner line in the A. I might do a little bit more right there right now and then I'm going to quit. Yeah, that's more what I want. I want it to get very, very just a constant change of color and brushwork, which I haven't achieved so far. So this is one that 
needs more work. But it's getting some interesting areas that I didn't plan on because this all these YouTube ones are very experimental. Um, I just have an idea and then I just kind of see what happens. I want to get back to my Skyline ones too. There's certainly a lot of Skylines I haven't done. They're very popular. Sold a number of them and a lot of prints have been sold. Richmond on the James, if you go to that collection, sold an awful lot and the owner is someone in Richmond, so that's nice. Okay, that's getting a little better now. Yeah, I can see this working. It's just going to be a while longer to really get more of what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click on the link to see the final painting because I think this one is going to change quite a bit. Also there is a link to my shop on Etsy, my independent website with Wix, and other sites.